Hello and welcome to the Totally English YouTube channel. Uh, je suis Sarah, je suis professeur d'anglais à Bouzig. Là, on est parti pour la deuxième semaine de vidéo. Uh, donc voici uh, lesson number two for the CPCE1. Uh, D'abord, je voudrais remercier tout le monde qui a regardé les, les vidéos de la semaine dernière. J'espère que ça vous a plu. Euh, J'ai eu beaucoup de messages euh, des enfants et des parents, donc merci beaucoup pour vos messages. Euh, je voudrais remercier aussi les personnes qui ont abonné à ma chaîne. Et si vous n'avez pas encore abonné à ma chaîne, bah, abonnez-vous. Euh, vous pouvez cliquer en bas pour abonner à la chaîne Totally English. Et finalement, je voudrais remercier euh, la commune de Bouzig euh, qui travaille en partenariat avec moi euh, pour présenter ces premières vidéos. Et euh, également remercier euh, mon mari et ma fille qui m'ont aidé beaucoup euh, avec le côté technique euh, qui s'améliore, j'espère, à, à faire à mesure. Donc, allez, je m'adresse aux enfants. Are we ready? On va commencer, yeah, for CPCE1, lesson 2. Are we ready? Yeah? Good, ok. Hello! Hello! Good. Are you ready to... Sing. Yes, good. Okay, are ready? One, two, three. Hello, 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 what's your name? Hello, hello, hello. My name is Sarah, my name is Sarah. Very good, okay. This time we're going to sing very quietly so we're going to whisper it's okay we're going to whisper one two three hello 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 what's your name hello 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 Alexi, hello Olivia, hello. Very good, okay. One more time. This time we're going to sing loud. Okay, we're going to sing loud. Okay. One, two, three. Hello, 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 what's your name? Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, oh, that was very loud, that was very loud, very good. Okay, so, how are you? How are you? Are you um, happy? Are you uh, sad? Are you angry? Are you sleepy? Yeah, how are you? How are you? Yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. And you? How are you? Very good. I'm good. That's good. I'm happy to hear that. Good. Okay. Shall we do the date? Are you ready for the date? Yeah, good. Okay. Let's have a quick look at the days again. On va regarder vite fait les jours de la semaine encore, juste pour se rappeler, mais je sais que vous connaissez déjà. Vous êtes trop fort. Are you ready? Okay, let's look quickly. So, the first day is... Mm, mm, Monday. Very good. Monday. Good. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday and Sunday. Very good. Shall we try to say them quickly? Quickly. Are you ready? Quickly this time. Very quickly. Are you ready? One, two, three. Quickly. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Good, very good, excellent. And let's try again to do the months. Shall we do the months as well? Yeah? 
so we can remember, so we can remember the months. Are you ready? Okay. So the first month, what is it? Yeah. January. January. Very good. February. February. Very good. After? March. March. April, April, good. May, comme en français, hein? May. June, June, very good. July, July, good. August, August, good. Après, c'est facile, hein? September. September, October, October, November, November, December, December. Very good, excellent. Okay, now let's do the date. Who can tell me what's the day today? What's the day today? Today, hmm. what is it? It's what's the day today? Yeah, very good. Yeah, today, today is Thursday. Thursday, very good. Today is Thursday, very good. And what's the date today? What's the date? It's quite a big number, hein? C'est un assez grand chiffre aujourd'hui. Hmm. En français, oui, 23, oui, le 23. In English, it's the... Ah, qu'est-ce qu'on dit quand il y a le 2 avant? Quand il y a un 2 suivi par un autre chiffre, comment on dit en, en anglais ces mots-là pour dire 20? On dit... Very good, you remember, yeah. It's 20, 20... Three, the twenty-three, twenty-three. Alors après, comme on a fait la dernière fois, on met toujours deux petites lettres après euh, le chiffre quand on parle des dates, parce que nous on parle de vingt-troisième jour. Donc comment on dit le vingt-troisième in English? Can you remember? Yeah, on met deux lettres ici. Yeah, we put the R D. R D et ça fait pour la prononciation it's the twenty third the twenty third very good the twenty third very good and the month what's the month yeah the month is still it's April April and the year what's the year yeah, the year it's still 2020, 2020, very good, it's 2020. And so, today is Thursday, the 23rd of April, 2020, very good, okay. So today, today is Thursday, what day was yesterday? What day was yesterday? Yesterday was... Yesterday was... Wh wh Wednesday. Very good. It was Wednesday. Very good. Okay, very good. So, today is Thursday. What day will it be? Tomorrow, tomorrow. What day will it be tomorrow? Very good. Tomorrow will be Friday. Friday. Very good. Friday. Excellent. Good job. Okay, very good. And you can remember hmm, what's the season? The season. Is it? Summer? No, it's not summer. It's 
Yeah, exactly. It's spring. It's spring. Very good. Excellent. Good job, everybody. What's next? What's next? Um, ah, the weather. If we look outside, if we look outside, what's the weather like today? Shall we sing the song? Are you ready? One, two, three. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? All together, all together. What's the weather like today? Very good. Okay, so what's the weather like today if we look outside? Is it um, like this? Mm, what's this? What is it? It's sunny. Is it sunny today? Um, not for me. It's not sunny today. No, it's not sunny. Is it uh, like this? What's this? What's this? W windy. Is it windy today? Is it windy? Oh. No, it's not windy. Not for me. It's not windy. Is it r raining? Is it raining? Yeah, for me? Yes. Outside, it's raining. Huh? It's raining, yeah. And is it... Uh, Cloudy, very good. Is it cloudy today? Yeah, for me, for me it's cloudy. It's cloudy, yeah. And what about this? What's this? A, re a rainbow, yeah, rainbow. Well, to have a rainbow, we need to have rain and what else? And sun. Yeah, it needs to be raining and sunny. To have a rainbow. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Okay, very good. So, we're going to look at the alphabet again. We're going to sing the alphabet song so that then we can talk about the theme. Après, on va savoir quel est le thème de cette semaine, okay? So, are we ready to sing the alphabet? Yeah? One, two, three. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C, Next time, won't you sing with me? Very good. Very good. You remembered the song. So today, the letter for today is the letter G. G. Mm, the G. Mm. You have to find the letter G. Can you see the G? The G. Mm. What do you think? Where is the G? Here? No. In English, no. It's not the G. En français, oui, c'est G. In English, no. It's not the G. Can you find the G? Yeah, it's just next to it. It's here. This is the G. G. We say G. And the letter G is for words like Good morning, uh, good job, uh, great. Very good, yeah. So today we're going to talk about the letter G because we're going to talk about grow. Grow, okay? Grow. Grow, I'm going to give you a clue. Je vais vous donner un indice. Grow, it's like this. If we think of maybe a flower, a flower in fleur, it goes like this, it starts very small and then it grows and grows and grows and grows. Qu'est-ce que ça peut être? Mm. Alors, to grow, 
En français, ça veut dire grandir. Ok Donc, il y a plein de choses qui, qui grandissent. Nous, on grandit. Bah, vous, vous, vous grandissez. Euh, moi, c'est fini. Hein. Euh, les animaux, ils grandissent. Euh, les plantes, les arbres, les fleurs. Tout ça, ça grandit. Ok Donc, on va parler de ça aujourd'hui. We're going to talk about grow. Grow. So, I'm going to show you some pictures. Ok Some pictures. So, if we look at... J'ai parlé d'une fleur, a flower. If we look at a flower, we can see how the flower grows. Donc, comment ça commence? On a la terre, ok? The soil. On met les graines. The seeds. On arrose. Oui, on arrose, oui. Hein? We, we water. Ok? And the flower grows and grows and grows yeah it grows and grows and grows very good okay and it's just like you so you grow and grow and grow yeah and it's like this huh? on commence on est né okay we're born and we are a baby, a baby, a baby, very good. And after, après, you grow and grow and grow and you are a toddler, a toddler, a toddler. In English we say toddler. A toddler c'est un, un peu l'âge juste avant le, la maternelle, ok? Euh, une fois qu'on a appris de marcher et puis jusqu'à à la maternelle, on appelle ça a toddler, ok? And then you grow and grow and grow and you are a child. Yeah, you, you are a child. Yeah, you are a child. Yeah. Alors, after, après, You will grow and grow and grow and you will be a teenager. Vous allez être un teenager. En français, vous dites un ado. In English, we say a teenager. Good. And after, après, you will grow and grow, a little more, and grow, and you will be an adult. Yeah, comme en français, an adult. Like me. I'm an adult. Ok? And then after, after, beaucoup plus tard, you will be elderly. Alors là, après adulte, c'est vrai que vous grandissez plus. Hein, c'est fini, hein, grandir. Jusqu'à l'âge d'adulte, euh, après c'est fini, on ne grandit plus. Ok? Good. Very good. So, ce n'est pas juste pour les humains qui grandissent. Euh, on a parlé des, des plantes, on a parlé des fleurs. Si on regarde ici, j'ai des autres choses qui sont en train de grandir. Things that are growing. Things that are growing like this. Can you see the picture? Yeah? That's a cherry. Can you see the cherry? The cherry. Qu'est-ce que c'est un cherry? Mm. Alors, a cherry, it's a cerise. C'est un cerise. Ok? So here's a cherry on a cherry tree. Yeah, the cherry. And the cherry is going to grow and grow and grow. Et puis après, on va le manger. <laughs> OK. And it's the same for, uh, pour tous les fruits. Hein? C'est pareil pour tous les fruits. Like this. This is an... Can you see here? It's an apricot. An apricot. En français, un abricot. An apricot. Yeah. And it's going to grow and grow and grow. Et puis, ça va être orange et on va la manger. Voilà, very good. Et c'est pareil aussi pour les animaux. Si on parle des animaux, if we talk about animals. Last week, we talked about the dog. Yeah, the dog. Alors, avant qu'il grandisse, avant qu'il grandisse, il est tout petit. On appelle quoi? On appelle comment le petit chien? Voilà, un chiot. In English, we say a Poppy, a poppy, a poppy, good. So the poppy grows and grows and grows and he is a dog. Very good. And what about this? This is a 
Oui, en français, c'est un chaton. In English, we say a kitten. A kitten. A kitten. Very good. And the kitten, he grows and grows and grows and he is a cat. Very good. A cat. Very good. And one more animal. What about this one? Oui, un poussin en français. Yeah. In English, we say a chick. A chick. Yeah, chick. So the chick, he grows and grows and grows and grows and he is a chicken. A chicken. Yeah, very good. Very. Donc on va revenir aux humains. We'll come back to humans. Uh, and look. Look at this picture. Look. Look. Alors ici, on a tous les étapes différents d'un humain, ok? Of us, ok? So, uh, on sait où ouais, ça commence, hein? we know it starts with a baby, et puis après, et après, et après. Donc, ce qu'on doit faire, on va faire une petite activité ensemble. Vous allez mettre toutes ces images dans le bon ordre ici. Et on va dire les mots de vocabulaire aussi, en même temps. So, we're going to talk, on va parler de... Grow, 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 grow. Ok? Donc, il va falloir... You have to point to the pictures. Il va falloir que vous indiquez les images pour que moi, je puisse les mettre dans le bon endroit. Are you ready? Are you ready to start? Ok. Are you ready? So, we're going to put these pictures into the right order. On va les mettre dans le bon ordre. Okay, so what's picture number one? What's the first one? Can you point? Can you point to the first picture? To point? Yeah, this is the first picture. A baby. A baby. Yes, very good. A baby grows and grows and grows. And next, point to the... Is it this one, the child? No, not yet, not the child, no. Good, it's the toddler. The toddler. Toddler. Very good. So the baby grows and grows and is a toddler. And then grows and grows and is a... Yes, like you. It's a child. The child. Good. And after, the child grows and grows. What's the next one? Can you point to? Point to? Yeah, very good. The teenager. The teenager. Good. And the teenager, he grows and grows and grows and is a... Yeah, and... Adult. Yeah, an adult. Very good. An adult. And the last one. Là, on arrête de grandir. On ne grandit plus. After the last one is elderly. Allez, on va répéter les petits mots ensemble. Uh, et puis, on va passer à la suite. Ok, so we've got the baby grows and grows. Toddler grows and grows. Child, good, grows and grows. Teenager grows and grows, very good. And adult. Là, on ne grandit plus. After, elderly. Elderly, donc les personnes âgées, elderly. Very good, excellent. When we grow and grow and grow, on avait parlé que éventuellement, après on était enfant et tout ça, uh, we become an adult, an adult, like mommy and daddy, comme maman et papa, an adult, ok, an adult. Et quand on est adulte, voilà, il va falloir qu'on travaille. Aïe, aïe, aïe. Donc, pour travailler, moi, ma question en English is, 
When I grow up, I want to be. When I grow up, I want to be. Alors en français, ça veut dire quand je grandis, donc quand j'essaierai adulte, je voulais être. Je voudrais être plutôt. Je voudrais être. Ok? Uh, so I want you to tell me what you would like to be when you grow up. Quand vous, vous êtes adulte. Qu'est-ce que vous aimeriez être? Ah, ok, good, yeah, why not? Ah, good idea, yeah? Oui, c'est bien, c'est bien. Ok, so look, in English, there are lots of jobs. Il y a beaucoup de métiers qu'on va, on va pouvoir faire. Ici, j'ai les images de quelques métiers. Uh, so, for example, a dentist, like in French, huh? a firefighter, a firefighter. Vous avez vu qu'est-ce que c'est oui, C'est un pompier en français, oui. A firefighter, an artist, peintre, painter, etc. Uh, maybe a builder, a builder, yeah, un maçon, quelqu'un qui travaille dans le bâtiment, yeah. A mechanic, a mechanic, like in French, a mechanic, yeah. And then there are lots and lots and lots of jobs. Il y a beaucoup de métiers. A chef, a vet, a teacher, a teacher, yeah, exactly. A doctor. Very good. Ok. Alors, au lieu de lire une histoire aujourd'hui, j'ai préparé une petite euh, poésie. Uh, in English, a poem. A poem. Uh, on va, je vais le lire uh, et puis je veux juste que vous écoutiez. You just need to listen, to listen. Et puis on va essayer de répéter un petit peu ensemble. On va voir comment ça se passe. Ok? Are you ready? Alors, la poésie, c'est justement en parlant de grandir et qu'est-ce qu'on voudrait être quand on grandit. Ok? Are you ready to listen? It's ok? Ok. One, two, three. When I grow up, I want to be a singer in a rock band and sing on TV. When I grow up, I want to be a painter in a studio and paint in Paris. When I grow up, I want to be a firefighter fighting fires and serve my community. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor in a hospital and help the elderly. When I grow up, I want to be a happy, bigger version, a stronger, better me. Good, very good. Shall we listen again? Alors, j'attends pas que vous, ayez, vous arrivez à répéter toute la poésie. Ce que je vais faire, je vais mettre la poésie dans les commentaires en bas. Comme ça, vous pouvez peut-être le lire avec maman ou papa et euh, essayer de, de, de répéter. Et puis même changer les métiers pour les métiers que vous, vous aimerez faire. Ça peut être sympa aussi. So I'm going to read again. Je vais le lire encore. I want you to listen. Ok, are you ready? Ok. When I grow up, I want to be a singer in a rock band and sing on TV. When I grow up, I want to be a painter in a studio and paint in Paris. When I grow up, I want to be a firefighter fighting fires and serve my community. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor in a hospital and help the elderly. When I grow up, I want to be a happy, bigger version, a stronger, better me. Very good, excellent. I hope you like the poem. J'espère que vous avez aimé la poésie. Okay, well... Uh, if you keep watching, you can watch, you can see 
Euh, on va essayer de faire les arts plastiques. We're going to try for the first time arts and crafts, ok? On the Totally YouTube channel, on va essayer de faire les arts plastiques. So, il va falloir que vous préparez quelques, quelques petits euh, équipements. Euh, vous pouvez mettre la vidéo en pause, il n'y a pas de souci, il n'y a rien qui va se passer. Vous mettez la vidéo en pause et vous allez avoir besoin de, vous allez avoir besoin de ciseaux, in English, scissors. Vous allez avoir besoin de la colle, in English, glue. Vous allez avoir besoin des papiers de couleur, donc euh, surtout du papier vert, green paper. Et aussi, un autre couleur. Ça peut être le couleur que vous voulez. Un autre couleur de papier. Ok Donc, papier vert, green paper. Et un autre couleur de papier. Ce que vous aimez. N'importe lequel. Euh, si vous n'avez pas les papiers de couleur, vous pouvez prendre le papier blanc et vous pouvez le colorier. Donc, avec les feutres, avec des crayons. Ok Ça, c'est aussi une solution. Vous allez aussi avoir besoin d'une agrafeuse. Une agrafeuse, ok si vous avez ça ou si maman et papa, ils peuvent vous prêter ça. Euh, donc, préparez tout votre équipement. Vous mettez les vidéos sur pause. Et après, on va faire les arts plastiques ensemble. We're going to do arts and crafts. Ok? See you in a minute. Are you ready for arts and crafts? Are you ready? Yeah? Good. Ok. Today, for our first arts and crafts, We're going to make a, ba -ba -ba -bam, a flower, a flower, a flower, okay? Uh, so maybe a pink flower or a yellow flower or a, an orange flower or a purple flower or a blue flower, uh, whatever you want, quand vous voulez. So you're going to need, si vous avez bien écouté avant, vous allez avoir besoin, You're going to need some green paper, okay, green paper, about A4, c'est à peu près la taille de A4, okay, and another color, un autre couleur. Uh, I chose yellow, yellow, mais vous, vous pouvez choisir une autre couleur, ça peut être orange, rouge, quand vous voulez. Uh, par contre, c'est un petit peu plus petit, okay, so we've got um, A4 for the green and A5 For the color, ok? Donc le, le vert c'est à 4 et le jaune c'est à 5 à peu près, c'est à peu près la moitié. Hein? Voilà. So we're going to start with the green paper and we're going to turn it, boom, turn like this, good. We're going to turn and we're going to start to fold. We're going to fold. So look, we're going to fold. We're going to fold like this. Can you see like this? Okay, fold, fold. It's okay? Good. We're going to fold again. So one fold, two folds. One, two, and three folds. One, two, Three. Good. So when you fold it three times, quand vous avez plié trois fois, you're going to take your glue, 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 and you're going to put the glue all along the fold. Donc je vais vous montrer. I will show you. It's all along the fold. J'ai mis la colle tout tout long ici. Okay, all along. And then I'm going to fold again. You plie un dernier fois. Up. You see? Yeah, so now it's stuck. Ah, ah, it's stuck. C'est collé. Good. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut along just by the side of the fold. On va couper juste à côté d'où on a plié en fait. Donc je vais commencer, je vais vous montrer. I will show you. So, here's the fold. Fold. And then I'm cutting just next to it. Je, je coupe juste à côté le pli. Ok? Yeah? So I'm going to cut all the way to the top. Cut. 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 Ok, this we can put away. 
Okay, so you should finish with this. On doit finir avec ça. This is going to make your stem, your stem for the flower. A stem in English, okay? En français, c'est le tige, okay? The stem in English. So now you've got your stem. Good. We're going to take the green paper again. And we're going to make, this time we're going to make the, what are these? The leaves. The leaves. So we need one, two leaves. Oops, doesn't matter. Moi je dessine pas, parce que c'est assez simple. If we look, if we take our scissors, we can just do the shape of the leaf. On peut juste faire la forme de la feuille. Just go like this, et puis après on fait un peu dans l'autre sens. Hop. So I've got one leaf, and the next leaf. Tac. Two leaves. Okay. I'm going to take my stem. Put this out of the way. Take my stem. And my leaves, I'm going to put some glue, 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 glue. Je vais mettre de la colle. Just at the bottom of the leaf. Okay, a little glue here. And then I'm going to stick it to my stem. Like this. I'm going to do the same with the other leaf. So with the other leaf, glue, 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 glue. Glue, glue, glue. And stick. There we go. So now we've got our stem and our leaves. We can put this uh, to one side and put it on the You're going to take your other paper, donc l'autre papier, l'autre papier couleur, and we're going to turn it this way. So not this way, pas comme ça, like this. Okay, uh, we're going to try to cut strips. On va essayer de couper les bouts. Il faut qu'ils soient à peu près cette taille-là. Okay, c'est à peu près 2 cm de largeur. Et ce qui est important, c'est d'essayer de faire les, les bouts de papier la même euh, largeur. Chaque bout que ce soit la même largeur. Ok, donc on va essayer de faire ça ensemble. So it should be about 2 cm, à peu près 2 cm. So we're going to start with the first one. So I'm going to cut one, one, do the next one, c'est près de 2 cm encore, si c'est pas exactement précis, c'est pas grave, hein. two, three, four, five, yeah. Yeah, so you should get about seven. You devrait avoir à peu près sept, sept morceaux de papier comme ça. Okay, seven. So I'm going to take all the pieces together. Je vais les, en mettre, les mettre tous ensemble, like this. Okay, can you see they're all together? All together, all together. Good. And I'm going to fold them in half. Je vais les plier en deux, like that. Donc j'ai des petits plis au milieu là. Can you see the fold? Yeah. And now we're going to take the stapler and we're going to staple in the middle. Donc on va on va pas on va faire le, la graffeuse où on a où on voit le pli en fait. Non, mais la graffeuse elle est pas top mais ça va faire l'affaire. Hop. Clac. There we go. So I've got the stapler in the middle. Yeah. Au milieu. Alors, si je vais trop vite, vous pouvez mettre la vidéo sur pause. Comme ça, vous allez avoir le temps à attraper. Mais moi, je vais continuer. <laughs> ok, so you got your paper like this, with the staple in the middle. And we're going to take the first paper here, parce qu'on en a sept, hein? On en a sept, mais on va prendre le premier. And at this end of the paper, I'm going to put some glue, 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 glue. So I'm going to go glue, glue, glue. 
I'm going to take the end of the paper, I'm going to fold it and I'm going to touch touch the staple in the middle. Je vais toucher le, la grappe au milieu. Et je vais rester appuyé. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Voilà, comme ça. Ok, like this. It's good. Ok, we're going to do the same with the next one. So again, here at the end, I'm going to put glue, 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 glue. I'm going to lift this one up. And I'm going to stick this one like this. Je vais le coller juste derrière. Donc je vais vous montrer après une fois que je le colle. Up. So it's like this, okay? So we've got one, two. Yeah? One, two. Same again. Glue, glue, glue. Oops. Up. I'm going to lift it and stick it just behind. I've got three. Yeah. Glue again. Lift all these out of the way. I'm going to stick him just here like this, yeah? Cool. And again, glue, glue, glue. Oops. And stick. J'appuie à chaque fois pour que ça, ça colle bien. Glue, oops. oops. <laughs> glue, 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 glue. And stick. Si c'est un peu compliqué, vous pouvez demander à maman ou papa ou grand frère ou grande soeur de vous aider, il hein, n'y a pas de souci. So glue, 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 the last one, and we're going to stick it behind here, up. Donc, on devrait avoir this, we should finish with something like this. On a les autres bouts ici, and all these pieces are, are glued. Tout ça, c'est collé, ok? Juste, juste au bout, pas ici, hein, c'est pas collé là. Juste au bout. Good. Ok, so we're going to, this was like, sorry, it was like this, no, it was like this. I'm going to turn it this way. Je vais play it, je vais tourner dans ce sens. And I'm going to do the same this side. Donc encore on a la graphe au milieu, the staple in the middle. And I'm going to start again. Je vais faire exactement la même chose. Glue, 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 glue. I'm going to fold and stick. Juste où il y a la graphe encore. Et comme avant, j'appuie pour que ça colle bien. And the next one. Glue, 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 glue. Up, lift him out the way, and we stick. Glue, 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 glue. Voilà. Glue, glue. Lift these out the way, and stick. Glue, 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 glue. And oops. Comment c'est un peu compliqué à la fin. Hein? Stick. Good. And we continue just to the end. On continue jusqu'au tous les tous les morceaux sont collés. So glue, glue, glue and stick. Two more. Glue, glue, glue and stick. And the last one, glue, oops. glue, 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 and stick. Voilà. Okay? So you should have something that looks like this. Vous devez avoir quelque chose qui ressemble à ça. Yeah? Alors, where you see the staple? Où vous voyez le, la graphe au milieu, ici? We're going to take the glue, 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 glue. And we're going to put the glue just to the graph. A peu près une centimètre chaque côté, comme ça. Okay, like that. And then we're going to just glue that together. On va, on va appuyer encore. We're going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Okay. Now, each of these petals. 
les pétales en français, on appelle ça petal in English. So each of these petals, we're just going to open up like that, ok? On va juste délicatement, on va juste les ouvrir un petit peu, ok? Parce qu'ils étaient tous un peu écrasés. Là, donc, euh, so we're just going to open them up like that, one by one. On va faire un par un. The petals. Here we go. Petals. 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 Ok. Et on va trouver une petite ouverture comme ici. Là, oui, en fait, il y avait la graffe là encore. C'est l'autre côté. Hein? Ok, it's the other side where there was the staple. C'est l'autre côté où il y avait la graffe. We're going to take the glue. And this time, we're going to put the glue all along the petal. One side and two sides. Glue, 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 glue. glue. We're going to take our stem, ok? Alors, on ne va pas coller avec les feuilles, non, pas avec, not with, the, not with the leaves, the other way around, ok? Donc, avec les feuilles plus loin. We're going to stick it in the middle. En fait, ça va coller directement entre les pétales. Un peu, encore une fois, si vous pouvez demander l'aide de quelqu'un, hein, parce que c'est un petit peu compliqué, mais ça va, vous allez arriver, je suis sûre. Okay, and we're just going to hold that so it will stick properly. Hein. Je vais compter encore jusqu'à 10, 10, to 10, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now we should have our flower. Our flower. Et la dernière chose que vous pouvez faire, the last thing that you can do, is to squash the stem, ok, on va appuyer sur toute la longueur de la tige en fait, pour que ça s'ouvre un peu comme une paille yeah? voilà, on va faire tout ça tout au bout, tout au bout, tout au bout et ça va, ça va ajouter une petite dimension à notre fleur here we go, so you made a flower very good let me see very good, your flowers are very nice, very good, good job Okay, it's time for me to go. So I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Uh, stay safe. Rest in security. Stay at home. And I will see you next week. Yeah, bye-bye.